Today we're going to be doing a peekaboo, also known as a peek through flitter tumbler. I'll be using a straight 20 ounce tumbler. We do carry them on the website, but for this purpose I used a mossy oak from Walmart. I will be leaving the bottom silver by taping it off as to not let the design get scratched or the epoxy get cracked from continued use in and out of cup holders. Some of the supplies we'll be using today include stainless steel tumbler, epoxies part A and B, we use Pro Marine, medicine cup, tongue depressor, gloves, and our glitter colors will include burnt umber, pumpkin spice, capella, wicked, and rich rose. To prep the tumbler, you will first need to tape off the bottom since we do not want to glitter that portion. Next, we will sand the tumbler. I use 3M220 fine sandpaper. You'll use this sandpaper in an up and down motion and then in a circular motion as to score the tumbler. This will help the epoxy to adhere to the tumbler and make it a tight seal all around. Next, I recommend wiping down the tumbler with acetone. This will remove any leftover grime from the sanding that may be left on the tumbler. I will be making a 1 4 ounce of epoxy to use as a base coating for the glitter. I will put 1 8 ounce of part A in the first part and then fill the medicine cup up to 1 4 ounce with part B. Always pour part B into part A because it's less thick. Use your tongue depressor to mix your epoxy. Make sure to scrape the sides and bottom of the measuring cup to get all the epoxy mixed together. Mix until the liquid looks clear and not murky. If you do not mix your epoxy completely with equal parts, or you do not mix your epoxy long enough, it will not dry and will remain sticky to the touch. Now that we have our tumbler prepped, we're going to put on our first layer of epoxy. We will drizzle it on and then smooth it out with our finger. Now take your finger and drag it all the way around the tumbler, moving slightly downward as you go. Once this is done, we will turn on our motor so the tumbler can turn on its own. We will smooth out the epoxy, moving our finger from the bottom to the top of the tumbler. Don't worry about getting epoxy on the tape as we will remove that later. Now I'm going to move my finger in a side to side motion up and down the tumbler. This will ensure that the epoxy makes contact with every part of the tumbler. Some people complain about fish eyes and this is usually the cause for that. You will see me repeat this method every time we put on a layer of epoxy. We will go ahead and smooth it out one more time. As you can see, there is a quite a thick layer of epoxy on here. A thick layer will cause us to have to use more glitter than we need to. It may cause the glitter to slip and it will take longer for the tumbler to dry. What we want is a thin layer of epoxy. As I drag my finger from the bottom to the top, I will put the extra epoxy that I get on my glove back into the measuring cup. Now, 
now, we're ready to take the tape off. As you can see, there is no epoxy where the tape was. This will help us when we are done applying the glitter. Because the rim is dry, we will be able to brush the glitter right off, leaving us with a clean rim. We're ready for glitter, and we're going to start with Rich Rose. I'll pour a little bit in my hand, and I'll pinch and sprinkle the glitter in random places all over the tumbler. Uh, we don't really have to worry about a pattern with this design, since fall leaves are a lot of different colors. Try to be just really random about it. Now we're going to go one more time with this color, going over the spots that we sprinkled the first time to make the glitter darker in those areas. Next, we'll use Capella. As before, just sprinkle the glitter in random places. I love this yellow. It's so bright. I'm going to really see it when we go around the second time. All right, just like before, go over the first sprinkles a second time to make them darker. See how bright that yellow gets? It's gorgeous. All right, now we're gonna use um, Wicked. Such a pretty purple. Just keep going in random patterns. And again, go over them a second time to make them darker. All right, next, we're gonna uh, use pumpkin spice. You know the drill now. Sprinkle in random places, re-sprinkle again to make them darker. All right, last but not least, we're going to be using Burnt Umber. Use this color to fill in any of the open spaces you may have left. It tends to be a fairly dark color, so try not to let it cover up any of the lighter colors that you already put on. You might be wondering why I sprinkle the glitter instead of just pour it on top. Well, in doing this method, if I sprinkle the glitter, 
I end up using less of it. And let's be honest, glitter can be expensive, so we're not trying to lose a lot of it. If I just poured it on with the bottle, even in random places, I would still lose a lot on the paper. And once it gets mixed with other colors, you can't use it as that color again. All right, finishing up the brown here. We're gonna continue to use the different colors to fill in any of the gaps that you may see or any lighter areas. The glitter that fell on the bottom of the paper made a really pretty mix. So I sprinkled some of that on top as well. Once you're satisfied that you have the glitter just the way you want it on your tumbler, we're going to use a paintbrush to get the excess glitter off the rim of the tumbler. Because we had it taped, it doesn't have any epoxy on it, and this makes it very easy to remove with the paintbrush. Now we're done. And our tumbler's just right. Time to move on to the next step. After I finished glittering the tumbler, I let it sit for 24 hours and then sprayed it with Mod Podge acrylic spray. I let it sit for another hour after that. Now I'm putting on a coat of epoxy. Just drizzle the epoxy on the tumbler as the motor turns it. Make sure you get all the way around the tumbler. Once we're done drizzling, we're going to smooth it out with our finger. Make sure that you always go from the bottom of the tumbler to the top. This will help you to get less epoxy in the top of the cup. Remember that back and forth motion I talked about during the first cut of epoxy? Well, I'm going to do it here again. This helps the epoxy to have complete contact with every part of the tumbler. By doing this, we can help eliminate fish eyes from our final coat. Once we're done, going all the way around the tumbler, we're going to smooth it out again. Don't worry if you get epoxy on the bottom rim. We'll take care of that at the end. Now we're going to put the rest of the epoxy we had left and drizzle it on the tumbler. We will go and smooth it one last time. Now that we're getting done smoothing the epoxy, we're going to want to clean off the bottom rim of the tumbler. The best way to go about doing this is with a baby wipe. Wrap the baby wipe around your finger and place it close to the glitter on the rim of the tumbler. 
sliding your finger all the way around. We're going to go around one more time and you'll see that I'll even let the baby wipe be just a little bit on the glitter. This is okay. The epoxy will level itself out on the glitter, but we want to make sure that there's no epoxy on the bottom rim when we're finished. Just a little bit less cleanup here. We're gonna let this tumbler continue to spin for the next 12 hours.